Hey guys, what's going on? Reed Genesis here bringing you a gameplay highlight video for a new single player survival horror stealth sandbox game called Myst. Now let me start off by saying that I do understand there are a ton of games just like this on the market today. But this one did catch my eye as far as the graphical quality and some of the things that the developer has in store. Right now the game is on Steam Greenlight for voting. The narrative of the game is not too unique. Basically the player is going to experience a post-apocalyptic world where an unknown virus has been an outbreak across the globe from some mysterious laboratory. And based on everything I've read, it's simply a mission of survival. Players will be able to hunt within the game, uh, gather things, craft things, put things together, and there's supposed to be some type of poisonous mist throughout the world that you have to have either a crafted gas mask for or one that you can find within the game to protect you. There will be safe zones and biohazard zones. And basically in the safe zones, you're not going to have much of a opportunity to find anything rare or super useful. It's going to be more of a common item deal. In the biohazard zones, you have to use that mask to get in and get out. You're going to use up the durability of that mask, but the player will have more of a chance to find rare items in those zones. Stealth will also be a big key component in the game where the developer mentions bandits or groups of people living in camps or homes where you can actually sneak in and steal things to survive from those groups of people without even being detected. The developer also mentions dynamic events and what those look like exactly I'm not sure but it does state that while players are surveying buildings or houses oftentimes you can meet other people or bandits who are surveying for supplies too. So those could be some interesting interactions for sure. Based on what I've seen so far, I think the game does have a lot of potential to be very good. I hope that the developers will find some ways to innovate so that this game can separate itself from the pack. Do you like what you see from the game so far? If so, be sure to head over to Steam Greenlight and give Mist a thumbs up. I've put a link to the game in the description below. As always, have fun gaming, be sure to make time for faith, family, and friends, and I'll see you in game.